Hey everybody, welcome back. Team Walters, Richard here. Uh, today we're not going to go over nutrition or longevity. Uh, I had some smoke detectors I had to get at a get one to replace one that went in my dining room. So we're going to make a video on smoke detectors today. Uh, for you who don't know it, I've been a firefighter for over 30 years. I have a bunch of certifications, but with anything, as you want to put anything that you do, uh, smoke alarms or whatever you do to the manufacturer's recommendation. So I just came back from the hardware store in town. I got this one, it says worry-free living area. So it has a 10 year battery life on it, which I really like those because you don't have to change the battery every year. You should always check your smoke detector at least once a month. Um, and we do not want to, I do not have one in the kitchen. They don't recommend putting one in their cooking area within 10 feet of it because you get that false alarm. Like when I used to be married, that's how I knew dinner was done. I'm just kidding. So we're gonna go ahead and install this, but I did get another one. I got this one, it's this first alert, first alert smoke alarm. And you can just see how small it is. And it also has a 10 year battery life. This is the first time I ever got one this small. I've seen them in commercial settings, but I've never seen one for residential. So that's kind of neat. It meets the UL listing 215, I believe it is. So whenever you're looking for a smoke detector, you want to make sure it meets a UL or a laboratory testing to pass smoke, smoke alarms on it. So I'm going to put a link below with the NFPA where it gives you recommendations of where to put the smoke alarms. You should have one on each living area. So one in the basement, one on the first floor, if you had a second floor and one up there. They recommend, you also put them outside the bedrooms and inside the bedrooms. The reason for that is, is with the smoke alarms, we wanna buy time. We wanna know that something's wrong and have the ability to get out of the house and then call 911. Uh, another video we'll make, we'll make on meeting places and uh, exit plans to go over CO alarms and stuff like that. But today we're gonna to put these smoke alarms up and we're gonna mount it right here. That's where the old one was. So they recommend just no, no more than a foot off the ceiling. So that's gonna be about, about six inches, four, four to six inches off there. So we're gonna go ahead and mount that right now. So let's put this one in here. So, and like I said, all of them come with instructions on them. They're always tough plastic with these. So that's the mount. And then that's the alarm. So when you get it, yeah, it doesn't work yet. Let's put on some glasses. Let's check this out. So, this charging, da, 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 da. so we just turn it on. All right, so we arm it. So it goes in the holder. There's a little alarm thing back here. And then when you mount it into the holder, there we go. And then when you go to test it, it's push to hold for a test and let you know it's working. Hmm. There we go. That's how you test it monthly. Um, every smoke, smoke alarm has different things on the back and you have to read the instructions. When they chirp, usually it means a low battery or the battery is going to uh, expire soon. So, But if it sounds in a steady alarm, that means it's seeing something, it's reading smoke somewhere. So that alerts you to be able to get out of the house, follow your emergency action plan to get out of your house and call 911. So we're going to go ahead and mount this up on here. Richard's gonna try and cheat. Let's see if it works. Oh, there's one screw. Take the old screws out and I start using the other ones. I have these all through my house. I have one in each bedroom. I have one downstairs where my daughter lives in the apartment. I have a CO alarm down there too. We'll have to make a video on a CO alarm too. I already said that, didn't I? So, there we go. Just 
start like that. You need to manufacture. Like I said, there's directions in there. Follow the manufacturer's directions when installing. But you don't want to have it too low. You want it as close to the ceiling as you can, within a foot of the ceiling. Because as the smoke would roll up here, it's going to come down, it's going to go across, it hit the sensors and sound the alarm. And that's what you want. You want the early warning to be able to get out of the house and alert people. My house is an older house, so mine are all batter upright. The newer houses call for them all to be wired together, so if one goes off, they all go off. And that's so it alerts you. Because that's what we're fighting against. We're fighting against time. Because fires nowadays, they grow faster than they ever have before because of all the fuel load in the houses. And when people ask me about the fuel load, because stuff is made out of a lot more plastic. In the olden days, it was made out of more wood and, and wasn't so much plastic in the house. And that's what we want. We want you to get, get alerted, call your action plan, and get out of the house. So, something else I do is I mark these. I mark them with the date I installed them. So, and I didn't bring a marker in here with me. So, we're just gonna pan this way. I'm going to grab that marker real quick. So, I just use a Sharpie and then I mark somewhere on here. There's a manufacturer date. It was UL tested or listed. It met their qualifications for a smoke alarm. So, and then I will put the date 7, say the 13th or 14th? 13th? 13th, 1999. Or 2019. 2019. Oh man, I'm going back in time here today. So let me just mark this up. Lock it in. Do a test. There it goes. It works. So I did it this month. That's the sound you hear. That means you want to get out of the house. So we're gonna go ahead. I think we're going to go ahead and open this one up. I like to see this one. This is from First Alert. We've looked over it before. So, this thing is teeny weeny. Like I said, I'm not recommending a brand. Yeah, pick a brand. Um, I've used both of these before. Well, that's a little small. I don't know how you see how they test it. We'll have to look over the directions for this one. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll have to pull out the directions. So I always retract the blade when I'm using the utility knife. Just a habit I got into. So, so like I said, here's the, here's the directions. There's the screws. So we're going to look over these real quick and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. I had to read the directions on that one. Like I said, it's first time I ever got one of these, first one I ever seen this small. So, but basically you pull it out of the packet, you just dismount it, just pull it like that. And that, that's, that's the smoke detector itself. And then in here is the matted mounting bracket for it. So basically you just remove this plastic and you can use this as a template. It shows you on the directions. So. Once again, we got to mark it. So, and I forgot my marker. So, but I'll get that in a second. But we're gonna go ahead and just mount this up real quick. This is also a 10 year battery. So, I jumped ahead on this. I already did the holes already. So now we just gotta run it back in. So, oops. You're mounting the screws in here. As you can see, both smoke detectors are right near this doorway. You don't want to put them somewhere where, right next to that, or where heat or anything comes out. It's going to push smoke away from them. So, we put it here because I want to warn it because most of the time, is, if 
if you're home, you're going to hear them go off and you're going to be awake. But I want to know right away when I'm in bed sleeping if something's wrong out there. So. And we sleep with our doors shut. People ask me all the time about that. We want to buy time. And when sleeping with your door shut, it actually buys you time. You hear the smoke alarm, you investigate, you open the door slowly, you have smoke there, you shut the door. That's what we teach kids at a young age. And then all you do this is all you gotta do is mine. Turn it clockwise. Your battery life on this. I like these because, well, you don't have to replace the batteries every year. You test them once a month. So, but that is where we installed the smoke detectors today. And right down in my hallway, I have a smoke detector right outside my bedrooms. And each of the three bedrooms, well, four bedrooms and one downstairs in the apartment, also have smoke detectors. I have a CO, CO alarm in my bedroom and also in the apartment. Uh, the only thing I burn is my gas uh, heater, which is four stairs. So we're going to make another video about CO. Like I said, you want to follow the manufacturer's uh, instructions when installing your smoke detector. I'm going to leave a link below uh, to the NFPA site if you have any questions with that. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a